Monaco had seemed a risk to start uh, with Emmett Smith Rowe and Reese Nelson. Um, how did you think they performed? With Jeff, I don't know. I look at my players, our squad in a different ways. I enjoy to have them fit. Uh, if we want to utilize the squad and, and maximize what we have, they have to play. And, um, and I think it was the, the right moment to do that. And they responded really, really well. And I'm so happy with that because I think we have won again a few players with good confidence physically with the rhythm right now. And, um, and they're going to be really important for us. Well, no, just on um, the point that you made yesterday about needing only the second to change the history of the football club. I appreciate that, but with you starting those five players today, does that show you really wanted to give them that rhythm going into these few weeks? For sure, and uh, when they have the moment, they have to take it, and they certainly did today. And uh, and they give me every reason every day, uh, regardless of the results, because it's not the right decision or the wrong because of the result, because if we would have lost the game, then it was because we made the changes. And it's not as simple as that. At the end, you have to do what is right and what they deserve, and um, and I was full confident that they will respond. We, winning or not winning, then is a is a different story in football. Thomas from Sky. Hi, Mikhail. Hi. Um, just generally on the, the title race, I was interested to hear that Jurgen Klopp earlier on today said he didn't even know that City and Arsenal were playing tonight. Just wanted to know <laughs> what your approach is. Do you know? I knew. I knew that Man City <laughs> is playing now. Uh, he's won a lot. Maybe he's. Uh, but uh, I know, and I know that they are playing tomorrow against, uh, against Sheffield at home, and uh, I will be watching it because I love to watch top teams play, and, uh, and this is what I do. Okay, Mike. Can I ask um, whether it's 24 hours or longer, is it important, the feeling of being top for yourself and, and the players at the club? Yeah, for sure. It's, that means that, that we are there, that we are really close, that we are showing a lot of consistency and quality to to be able to be fighting in, in the position that we are right now, and uh, and now that's it. And uh, sleep, eat, prepare well, and now it's Brighton. Jordan, what's that? Hi, Mikel. Um, barring Julian Timber, everyone's back now. The squad looks fit. You've been giving minutes to other players. Is this the strongest your squad has looked going into a title charge compared to last season? Well, it's certainly different to, to what we had last season and, and the big injuries that we had in, in the key moment of the season. And, uh, yeah, those wood uh, that we can maintain them and uh, and they can be there, but as well that we use them and, and they have they are in the right uh, mental and physical frame as well to perform and have an impact in the team. James Eastman. Starting at Martin Odegaard, when, when you make a few changes, it feels like a night where he's not only his quality but also his leadership as captain kind of comes to the fore. Yeah, he's a really important player. So we needed that balance. Uh, and as well the chemistry that uh, certain players have because that's how they train as well and uh, and how we build uh, those connections and relationships and uh, and Martin is vital to connect everything as well in, in the way we play. And as captain, uh, how much is he sort of driving the determination within the group to want to go one better than last year? Yeah, a lot. Uh, he's made huge steps there. Um, his presence, the way he's... Um, behaving himself in front of the group and, and the standards that he set is, is outstanding and he's got a lot of players as well to support him and, and the rest to follow with him. Nick, Adam. Hi. Just specifically on Emir Smith though, he's, he's had his ups and downs over the last two years and he's, he's had to wait for his starts, but will that performance tonight being, being so important for those two goals and showing that he can be decisive as he was a couple of years ago, how much will that help his confidence going forward? I think a lot, and uh, I love him as a player. It is a joy to watch him, how he moves, how he changes direction, how physical he was today as well. Without the ball, he went to duels and he won a lot of them. And uh, and he was thinking, yeah, with that killing instinct to play forwards and to make things happen. And uh, and when Mill is in that uh, in that moment, it's very difficult to stop him. And uh, today he had plus a lot to win the game. Uh, Mikel, I think that was Kai's ninth booking tonight. Kais. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is, I, don't know, I, don't know. I don't know whether you agree, <laughs> but it's quite surprising for a player of his, his, <laughs> yeah. his type. It also kind of puts him on that, on that threshold a little bit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Kind of well, yeah, we have to be careful. Um, hopefully he doesn't get booked no more because with the chance we know what happens. But are you surprised that he's kind of got no one? I am surprised yeah. <laughs> if that's a different player. Yes, um, I don't know. I would have to go back and, and have a look at those cards. But uh, if they are yellow cards, 
something to improve because we don't want our players having that many. I think we are the, the best in the league on that and um, something to improve. Okay, last couple now, down here. Hi. 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 If I'm happy, yeah. Tomiyasu is happy or no? Yeah. Then I'm happy. Yeah. Tomiyasu is happy, I am happy. I really like him. He fully deserves that. Uh, I think he's growing um, with the team. And that we need is consistently from him, that he's fit and available. Because when he does, you know, today when he came on, uh, he was really good again and he gave us a lot. Okay. Um, no Bukayo Saka in the squad. Can you just tell us how close he was maybe to being involved tonight and how confident you are he'll be back on Saturday? Yeah, he was close, but uh, he felt um, again something in, in a very similar area against City and uh, and it was a very short turnaround. Uh, hopefully he will be able to, to train tomorrow and, and be available for the weekend. And finally, Mikael. Uh, Mikael, this is your second uh, title race now in a row, second run in. Whatever about the team, do you feel differently about how you face it? Is it a different kind of emotion you're feeling going into it? I cannot really remember how I was feeling last year. <laughs> I was very excited. We kept going. We tried our best. At the end, uh, we didn't do enough to win it. And, and sometimes we just have to recognize uh, the quality and the consistency of other teams that we did and, uh, and try again and go again. And, and here we are. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you.